Praise God. Welcome everyone to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen. I hope you're doing well today. I am getting ready for spring break. Are you? Um, my kids and I are on spring break and um, my husband will be very soon. So um, we're going to get to hang out with each other for a bit. And I'm going to take a break from Good Knit Kisses for about a week. So uh, this is our pattern that we're launching this week. And we won't have one next week, um, but we'll come back at you with another uh, loom pattern the week after and a needle pattern as well. So um, keep on your toes for that. Um, I was going to see if I can... Oh, I left it in the other room. Why do I do that? <laughs> I'm looking around. I'm like, I thought I left it in this room. I was going to show you all. <laughs> I'll show you a sneak peek. Uh, good morning, everyone. Hey, Joanne. I'm a little late today. <laughs> I have been sick this week, and so I told Joanne, I was like, we're going to have to take a break for next week. I need a reprieve, but we are on spring break, so it's it's well-deserved. <laughs> uh, so welcome. I am um, looking for some information. I'm trying to find... <laughs> Joanne, I was trying to find how many, how many sizes we had. I think it was six um, for this... For this hat, and I'm like, my iPad is not cooperating. Um, so welcome, welcome. I want to say hello to people. Of course, we have Joanne at Good Knit Kisses. We've got Alicia here. She's our regular. We got Carol. Welcome, Carol, up in Canada. I'm so glad to have you, hon. Uh, we got a little brat this morning. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. Um, yes, yeah, six five sizes. Okay. So we do have six sizes from baby to adult hat now uh, that are coming out. And they are um, going to be on the blog, and we have a cast on video, and we have a um, uh, closing. Sorry, <laughs> I had an alarm go off. <laughs> I don't know if it cut out the transmission, but anyway. Uh, so we have videos showing you how to do a cast on and closing the cast on because we're using the Kitchener stitch to make an envelope hat. Now this envelope hat is um, a specific gauge and um, and loom uh, loom gauge and yarn gauge, but of course you know you can change it up and um, make it with other gauges. I'm just going to show you a couple of other ones that I've done. So we've got everything from a baby hat size. Um, this is the yarn used, and we used a three eighths inch loom. Um, you can, um, so it's a small gauge. Um, and then I worked with a worsted four weight yarn. So, um, you know, some very common things. Um, if you don't have a flexi loom, which I used in my sample, um, Joanne used her kiss loom. Um, you can use really, um, any three eighths loom that lets you knit in the round. So whether the shape is a circle or not, that doesn't matter. It's if you could knit in the round, you know, continuously with the same gauge and no gaps. Um, so yeah, uh, and I show you how to do it on different types of looms. Um, I didn't show it on the Kiss, but I do show it on an all-in-one loom, which has a rectangular look to it. So if you have to put on what you think is an oddball shape and you think, oh, I can't do that, you can. <laughs> so um, we have a video for Kitchener Cast On showing it on four different looms. And then if you're like, what? Do, how do I deal with all this extra yarn that's on that cast on and close it, I have a video showing that. Um, the video showing it is on this very bulky little um, hat here. Uh, bulky yarn. Um, I show a different way of doing the tail than I do in my sock video. So if you want to catch the sock video, actually now that I think about it, I'm like, I meant to take a little piece of that video. So maybe I can see if I can grab a little blurb of that little um, video and show you another way to do the Kitchener um, and closing that. So anyway, now that I think about that, <laughs> I'm coming out of my, my fever dream of <laughs> how I felt this week. And I'm like, oh, my mind's coming back to me. <laughs> Anyway, so six sizes, baby to adult. Um, yeah, this is so cute. And you can make the um, you can make the brims longer to do a folded brim. I mean, this one wasn't really made for that, so you can see that little blip through. And, oh, look at my tail. I didn't finish trimming that off. <laughs> but if you want to make a longer one, like let's say, for instance, this one. See how like this looks a little awkward? It's extra long. It's because I intended it to be folded. And so when it's folded, a couple of those extra rows of... Um, uh, ribbing can tuck back underneath and it has a more um, a seamless look. Um, yeah. So, and here's a quick little hack. I had talked to y'all about making um, one of these envelope hats into a bag if you wanted to. So you could even turn any of these into, like if you're making one for a toddler, you know, um, preschooler, 
um, even a kindergarten, first grader, um, little girl who wants, or whoever wants a purse, a bag, um, you can turn these into a bag. Look at this. This is just an extra little bonus thing. So all I did is take my, um, <clears throat> little braided, um, handle that I had made and I just clipped, I took it from my other market bag and I clipped it to the end of this hat here. And so it makes a nice little bag. Um, and you could line it or whatever. So um, anyway, this is just a fun thing to do. So you could take these hats and now you know the sizes and you could just use it. Yeah, great for an iPhone holder. Um, also, if you make it a little bit shorter, imagine something this wide, but a little shorter, you could do this and add the little clip on and you have yourself like a book holder. So if you like to go and read at the park, you want to put a book in there, you want to put a Bible in there, um, that would be so fun. Um, you could even put a liner in. If you made it big enough, you could probably do two things in there or make a liner uh, or a small pocket that fit maybe like this size could fit um, a nice book and your phone. So it's a nice little purse that's meant for that or maybe an area to put your um, pens and highlighters or whatever you do, um, some journaling, that would be really fun. My my daughter had mentioned that she wanted to do a cover uh, for her Bible. And um, yeah, I just thought that would be kind of cool to do. I'm like, wow, why not? <laughs> so um, I've seen these covers. I can't remember what they're calling them, but um, I've seen a few people talk about um, having these um, covers for their Bibles. And I thought that they were like, if you're as old as I am, if you're a Gen X or above, you wrapped your covers of your books. Like you took like um, a, an old paper bag from, or newspaper or butcher paper or whatever from, you know, a paper bag from um, the store and then you cut it and folded it onto your book and then that, that covered and protected your book. So I was thinking she meant something that folded, but actually a lot of people doing this kind of slip in thing. And I'm like, well, that's perfect for these little handles. So I'm totally segueing here and I'm going from my envelope hat all the way to bags. <laughs> if you follow the Kristen brain. Uh, so there are no new videos this week, but you will have access to the Kitchener cast on to make this envelope hat the end of it. And um, you'll also have the, um, the closing of it, uh, that video is available. And I've already got the links in the comments, or not in the comments, but in the video description here. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit closer up of this one because it's a nice bulky look. And I have these little pom-poms attached. <laughs> They're so cute, but I made them to where I can remove them and show you. So watch this. Ah! <laughs> Because this is just for show. This is not for anybody in particular. Uh, but look how smooth and beautiful this edge is. Look at that end. So you have stitches that go all the way here and up and around here. And so when you close off your Kitchener, it fakes a stitch. So one of these lines here is a stitch. And then it just bends. And then this is what the end does. So cool, right? So you can have it with or without pom-poms. Isn't that fun? All right, I'm going to see what y'all's comments are. Good morning, I saw Lori pop in. Blessings in crochet. Shakita says, welcome. Hi, Dixie. Yes, it's been a while since you've been on the live stream. Uh, I see in your comment, little brat. Good morning, good morning. Um, yes, I just, I love it as a phone holder, too. Um, there's so many little things. Um Anyway, I just want to come at y'all and show you that. Uh, it will be coming out tomorrow. <laughs> if you are a VIP, I think you may have already gotten it. I haven't checked my email yet. <laughs> Joanne will probably confirm with me. Um, so uh, thank you so much for your support. If you are a VIP or considering being one, it is so great to support um, what we do here at Good Knit Kisses. Um, I, I started this journey... Um, I don't know if y'all heard my story. I'll just kind of talk about it for a minute. But I started this journey in 2010 after postpartum depression. And um, I got so excited about learning how to um, knit and loom knit um, and get back into finger knitting and get back into crochet. I had learned as a kid, but hadn't touched it in a long time anyway. And I just got so excited. I started teaching uh, in 2011 on YouTube. And by 2014, I was... Um, I decided to leave my regular job in 
I haven't quite earned back up to where I need to. So um, I, this is just, this is a passion um, job here and I'm able to stay home, but uh, all of our supporters and members here um, coming on uh, and showing up every month um, do help the work we're doing at Good Knit Kisses to keep our blog going. Um, we have free patterns um, nearly every week, as many of you know, in knitting, crochet, um, weaving, um, <clears throat> lots of crafts, but mostly yarn related crafts. Um, but uh, we we really enjoy you. And um, we have Joanne, she's part time uh, contract uh, for us and helps keep up with uh, the blog and the website and patterns and things with me. And then, of course, I'm filming all the tutorials and everything. So uh, thank you so much for your support. Um, level one, you're always welcome to join us on our Zooms that we have every week um, or nearly every week. I'm not going to have one next week because I'll be on vacation. <laughs> but, um, you know, so multiple times a, a month we do that. And then you get access to early videos one day early. And then level two and above is going to get all of our patterns that we come out with, which is really, really a deal. And um, I super appreciate you all. And then anybody who is a closed caption sponsor and above level three and higher, um, truly appreciate that because it really helps us out. And, um, and so that we could support more content and making new things and um, helping others uh, increase uh, their knowledge and love their stitches. So we say here, stitch your love, love your stitches. And um, yeah, I just love it. So um, yeah, level two and higher. Check your inbox. Um, the pattern was sent off. Thank you so much, Joanne. Um, no worries on the delay. Girl, I was like five minutes late on this. <laughs> on this. Um, actually, I like I said, I've been sick this week and my kiddo right before I come on, she one of them comes down. She's like, well, I'm not feeling good again. So here we go. <laughs> so please, please be praying for our household. I was going to go um, <laughs> take care of, um, planning out a few things to do together for spring break. So I'm hoping that we're all going to be not sick <laughs> so that we can do some local things together. So, um, yeah, anyway, good morning, Marlene. I see you jumping on. You'll have to watch earlier in the broadcast. Um, cause I'm about to hop off soon soon. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. As a diabetic, I, uh, I could have one to hold all the stuff I must keep. Good job. Yes. Um, I like that. And you can add, I have a video on how to uh, sew a liner in, make a liner. Now it's not for this shape, but you could use the technique for it. And I did it by hand. Um, if you know how to um, sew with a machine, then you probably don't need my help, but <laughs> I do show just hand stitching it in. Uh, some people will actually sew through that with their machine. Um, that's not me. I have a machine and my grandmother will be very disappointed that I'm not doing it. But anyway, <laughs> But I love um, doing it. And the last time I made another one of my bags, I actually um, added a few more pockets in and um, pockets in the middle, like to divide. And so as a diabetic, um, if you had one that had a dividing pocket in the middle and maybe like one of those snap things, and I'm gonna show you all real quick. I have one of these and I have, I've never shown it on camera, but I bought this. So if you ever wanna make bags that have a snap on them, you can get one of these little kits. Um, and I forget what they're called. But um, this is like a, it has like a little cam lock thing and then little snaps and you can put them in on your, um, on your bags and snap close at the top or you can install a zipper. And I do have a video on installing a zipper. So you could um, line the inside of it and you could install a zipper right along the top and make a nice purse. So that's another thing you could do. So anyway, I've given y'all a lot to think about, I'm sure. Um, hopefully there'll be lots of rest and family kind of time coming your way. Thank you so much, Alicia. I appreciate it. Um, Dixie, totally understand my family, including myself recovering from COVID. Oh, that thing just keeps giving. It's the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> I know at least it's milder now. Um, there's a strain of flu, regular flu that's going around. And some people are like, oh, it's COVID, it's COVID. But we had a friend who got tested and we all had the same thing. And they were like, yeah, it's, it was a flu. We had it tested and it was like classic. <laughs> you know. So don't forget COVID is like a flu. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this thing will clear up once the weather starts getting better and spring is here and all the stuff. So, <laughs> um, anyway, um, it's lovely to see you all sort of see you all see your, 
icons and names and all the things. Um, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend, wonderful spring break, and um, I will see you very soon. We will not be here with videos next week, but we'll be there the week after, so we won't have a uh, Zoom next week, but we will this week. Oh, good morning, Karen. I see you jumping on. I'm going to head out, but I just wanted to say hello before I leave. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Have a happy knit and crochet. Bye.